Hello, you handsome humans. Contrary to popular belief, evolution is not survival of the fittest. Evolution is survival of the most adaptable. Welcome to step 29 of the Tribe Triangle, where we're gonna talk about innovation. Now, innovation is applied or intentional adaptability. And it's one of the most powerful aspects of our species, your family, and your organizations. However, innovation comes with a tremendous price tag, and that price is failure. Brene Brown says that all innovation requires failure, period. Heraclitus, the great Greek philosopher, said, the only constant is change. And so in order to stay abreast of this change and get ahead of it so that you can take advantage of all of these inevitable changes, you're going to have to build in innovation into your culture. Now, in order to do that, you're going to have to deal with the debris and the blowback of failure. And this involves a tremendous amount of resiliency, right? That's kinship level behavior. Innovation, well, this is healthy conflict level behavior. So you have to have shored up your resiliency before you engage with creating a culture of innovation. Now, a lot of my clients um, in the leadership and culture development space, they come to me with a wish list of things that they want to either improve or implement in their, in their teams. And innovation is always top of that list. So my first question to them is, how prepared are you to deal with failure? And usually that's a bit of a bitter pill for them to be able to embrace. But it's a required pill if you're going to be innovative, if you're going to play offense, if you're going to start moving ahead intentionally at a high rate of speed. So <clears throat> innovation inherently involves failure. And one of the ways that you can shore up that in your culture is go all the way back to the alignment level of the tribe triangle and take a look at your values. And I'd like to share one of the value statements of um, a client I worked with years ago, and this is a brilliant thing that I and encourage you to steal shamelessly and implement in your organization. And that is, uh, we have an incredibly high tolerance for non-repetitive mistakes made in the pursuit of excellence. I'm gonna say that again for y'all because it's worth writing down. We have an incredibly high tolerance for non-repetitive mistakes made in the pursuit of excellence or innovation. So take a look at your value statement because those are gonna dictate the behaviors that move you towards your vision. Also take a good look at your resiliency protocol of your team because you're gonna to have to be able to deal with the inevitable failures as you begin to implement innovation on your team. Good luck with all that and we'll see you out there.